India's premier space and research organization, ISRO, has successfully launched the PSLV C-46 satellite. The satellite will further boost India's surveillance capabilities. The PSLV is successfully launched the Resat 2B, a radar imaging Earth observation satellite in orbit. The Resat 20. 2B, I beg your pardon, will be the third satellite in India's radar imaging satellite program. The PSLV C-46 blasted off at 5.30 a.m. Indian Standard Time from the first launch pad of the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Andhra Pradesh's Sri Harikota. Happy to announce that PSLV C-46 has successfully injected RSAT to be precisely in the designated orbit of 555 km with the inclination of 37 degree. <laughs> this particular mission for PSLV is a very, very important mission in the sense with this satellite launch. And so why is the launch of the satellite significant for India's surveillance power? For starters, the RESAT-2B is capable of clear viewing during the day, night and even under adverse air weather conditions. This will enable pinpoint accuracy for India's armed forces when it comes to conducting precision strikes. This is the first, that, uh, first time that India has launched indigenous technology of this kind into space. Two previous radar-enabled satellites launched by India were the RESAT-1 and 2 um, the latter, of course, being an acquisition from Israel built to uh, built last in the last five years and has been put in orbit. The Resat 2B will also serve the country with data for forestry, agriculture, disaster management. It is also expected to give accurate weather data uh, day and night, no matter the weather conditions. And our correspondent Siddhant MP gets us the latest. In its 48th mission today, PSLV C-46, the polar satellite launch vehicle, India's most dependable workhouse rocket, put uh, the RISAT-2B, a radar imaging satellite, an Earth observation, all-weather Earth observation satellite, into low Earth orbit, that is into 555 kilometers orbit. And this was done successfully, and as ISRO calls it, it was a complete textbook launch. The significance of this launch is that this satellite actually can be used for various purposes and under all weather conditions in day and night. This is a satellite that actually can be used to map the forest cover, to map the agricultural uh, produce and how the crops are growing. This can also be actually used to mitigate disasters and to actually understand the ground situation after a disaster strikes. This is the 14th flight of the PSLV rocket in its core alone configuration, that is without the strap-on boosters. And this is also a mission in which ISRO has tried uh, new technologies. And this satellite itself is indigenously, completely indigenously built and also uh, has completely new systems and subsystems that were all homegrown and developed in India indigenously. Besides this, there are a lot of uh, important missions coming up for ISRO in calendar year 2019. One of them is the most ambitious, most anticipated mission yet, Chandrayaan-2, where ISRO will be sending an orbiter, lander and rover to the moon. Later this year, there will also be other PSLV launches of uh, imaging satellites and there will also be GSLV launches. India's most powerful rockets will be launched uh, later this year. And also, ISRO is said to be testing the uh, reusable launch vehicle technology and also the technology to launch small satellites that are uh, less than about 500 ki uh, kilograms in weight. So this is how uh, ISRO plans to actually uh, launch many more rockets this year. And indeed, it's an exciting year for uh, Indian space enthusiasts. From Sri Harikota, ISRO, this is...